guys, I uh, just got a small little update for you, but uh, the, the good news is, I'm still here! So, now, the bad news. The bad news is, is that I went up to Portland last week for a mapping and to pick up a new refurbished Freedom Processor for my original Freedom Processor that I got with my uh, cochlear implant back in 2007. It is uh, seven years old and it needed to go back and I was in the process of getting the upgrade for the Nucleus 6 sound processor since my Freedom Processor was five years old. And the insurance company says that if your current processor is more than five years old, you can have it replaced and go for an upgrade. But the problem is, is that the insurance company said that if my processor was able to be repaired, then that was fine with them to go ahead and repair the processor. Well, to make matters worse, uh, Cochlear had me get a refurbished processor with a new controller, coil, cable, and receiver and a winter warranty for it. So, the audiologist was a little skeptical about the arrangement that I had, and she felt that it wasn't uh, the safest route to go. But instead, she decided to call Cochlear and get a verification and a confirmation if that's what I was sitting on, and if I was still able to get the upgrade. Even though I was sending back my processor that was broke, the controller wouldn't work, and it wouldn't come off, and it wouldn't turn the power off and on. The speech processor itself, I wasn't able to test it before I sent it back to Cochlear to see if it was working or if it was workable or not. So Cochlear decided to send me the refurbished processor. So I got the warranty and everything on it, just to be safe. So a one year warranty, so if it breaks or anything, I could be able to replace it without having any money out of my pocket to be able to pay for the repairs and so forth. Well, when the audiologist was on the phone with Cochlear, Cochlear said that Medicaid said that if the processor can be repaired, then they will send for it to be repaired and send it back to me. That is where the refurbished processor came in. That was mistake number one. Mistake number two was that Cochlear should not have asked me to get the warranty on that processor, but instead he went ahead and recommended me to go ahead and do the upgrade, but it didn't happen. So, in the meantime, after seven years with the cochlear implant, I'm, I'm not disappointed, I'm not mad, I'm not mad at the insurance company, I'm not mad at cochlear, I'm not mad at the, um, the, pe the people in customer service there. I'm just mad at the way that the rules are set up with Medicaid and the insurance company where it should actually say that regardless if your processor is working or not, after five years, you can get it upgraded regardless if it's broke or if it still works. Well, Medicaid has decided to stand behind their language of the rules and their insurance 
to say that as long as it's being repairable, then that's what I did. And send it back for repairs, get it back, and then I'll labor or the fiesta. I'm good. So I still have my backup original freedom processor, which I am wearing now, and the refurbished processor that I got back from Cochlear last week. That processor and my current processor was both mapped and it had been since 2008 that I had a mapping. And the audiologist said that my maps are uh, good. So they're, 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 they're actually they're actually running along from each other, so they're right on top, so they're, they're, it's not off balance or anything, but they're, they're almost together. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, but so far that's where I'm at right now with my cochlear plan. I'm loving the journey. I'm, um, I'm having the time of my life with it after seven years, and I look forward to more um, discoveries, more happy journeys, more happy times and conversations, and um, more talks on the phone, which was my cell phone, and more talks on the uh, home phone. So, that is good. Life is good. And um, I hope everybody is getting uh, prepared for Christmas and uh, doing the last minute Christmas shopping. And uh, those of you that are in the process of getting a cochlear implant or looking into getting a cochlear implant, if you have some questions, please feel free to comment and leave me uh, a message down below in the links in the comment box below. And I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. And uh, other than that, I wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in 2015. So uh, that's it. And uh, we'll see you soon in the next video. Merry Christmas.